Hello and welcome to the Dead Space 2 weapons and ammo special, weapons and suit special. In this episode, I'm going to show you all the different types of suits and ammo you can get because we have all of the ones available right now. And uh, I'm just going to show them all off and show you what's up, what they're all about. So first off, let's get the engineering suit, which this is the basic suit which you're supposed to get at the beginning of the game. I skipped it because I got this suit due to completing the game completely. And uh, let's show it off quick. It's it's basically a throwback to the old uh, to the suit from Dead Space One. See, looks exactly the same, pretty much. Pretty freaking cool. Okay, next up, and I gotta sell some stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna be using any of this at the moment, so sell it. I have a safe file, so I'm just gonna use that. You already know my feelings on the uh, on the four, on the four weapons I use up until this point: the plasma cutter, the line gun, and the pulse rifle, plus the seeker rifle. You know all about that. So, I'm just gonna sell all this stuff. <laughs> look at all my ammo! I mean, look at all my money! More than enough to buy everything. Just to show it off. Vintage suit. Uh, this is a newer suit. I should have actually started with the police suit, whatever. This thing is actually really useful in the fact that it gives you store store discounts. You get money. The amount, what everything costs at the store is decreased. Which is probably not a bad reason why I had to buy this first, but whatever. Only problem I have with it is it looks stupid. <laughs> look at it. You look like an like an astronaut from like 19. I'm not sure when the first astronaut landing was, and the stupid head covering just looks awful. Oh god. I love I love what it does because you get discounts at the store for everything now. But just the fact that it looks that like that. Oh shit! I didn't want to buy the secret rifle. Fuck. Whatever. I got enough money. Uh, sell you. Move all of these. Just so I can get them all at once. Ripper. Javelin gun. Okay, so now I've got all the weapons bought. Now I gotta buy the rest of the suits. Security suit. Kind of like the suit we just had, except that it's a security and it's a slightly different color. This thing's pretty useful as it gives you as it, as it gives you an extra gives you a pulse rifle extra bite, which I use a lot. So that's probably a suit I probably should have been using. I probably would have used a lot if I was doing this legit. Okay, and then final suit, the advanced suit. Advanced suit. Yoing. There we go. Pretty slick, dude. Though, you don't look that good in regular tights. Did you find the other power cell yet? No, I'm still looking. Just one more, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, that, I'm recording this during the, in the middle of another of the next episode, so you might hear some dialect from Ellie as we're talking some stuff. The suit itself looks kind of... I don't know, it looks awkward. It d though it does look my Isaac's good. does make Isaac's butt look good. Uh, what am I saying? Okay, then, now going through the weapons. That we have here is the Ripper. Ripper works just like in the previous game. It shoots, it shoots a saw that it can hold in the air and shoot around. And then the ultra fire mode is just shooting one out like a regular shot. It's a decent weapon, I find, but I don't find it as useful as other ones simply because while you're doing this, you can't defend yourself, you can't move that quickly. And it, so the fact that it makes it useful is the fact that you can just slice through necromorphs and stuff, but uh, the fact that you can't, that you have to hold still, that you have to hold it and kind of stand around is what dec decreases its usefulness. Uh, is this the javelin gun or something else? I think this is the javelin gun. 
That was the Force Cannon. Force Cannon is kind of like this game's really large, really, really large area to shoot out weapon that doesn't have a long range, but it does a lot of pa throwback power. And the art firing mode is a laser for better can It's just a concentrated blast that has a smaller radius, but it has a longer range. Not terrible, but not great. I don't like weapons like that generally. Next we have the Javelin Gun. Javelin Gun's not terrible. Uh, it shoots stick stuff like that out, but the problem is that you pretty much have to hit at like the just the right spot. It's real. It's it's a lot like the Seeker Rifle, except it doesn't have a zoom in feature in that. You have to be really careful with aiming. Outfire it. Outfire is that you shock any so any javelin you threw out here. So, which is actually pretty damn useful. But again, you have to be able to really good aim for it to be any use, uh, any real use. Alright, the next for guns. Detonator. Contact B. Flamethrower. Oh, I used all those. Okay. Okay, this is the flamethrower, I think? No, this is the uh, contact beam. No, that's the detonator. <coughs> I haven't used a lot of these guns. I don't find that useful. Detonator shoots shoots, shoots uh, those stupid-ass uh, shooting things, you know, that go... That uh, that let that uh, that whenever the something trips the lines, they shoot off, which I don't like. Uh, the ultra fire mode is canceling them, so you can pick them back up in case you shot them in the wrong place. These are good for laying traps, but I don't like it that much. I don't like these things in general. The find find them annoying. This is nice for setting traps in case if you if you know the swarm coming and you want to just you want to defend an area, but for the most part, I don't like it. So, yeah, that's a dead mine. I guess you could find call it useful, but it has specific uses. Flamethrower. Exact same as in the last game. You can shoot around, and if you want out firing mode, oh, you don't have enough of the alt. Shoot. I got that quick. Gotta get some of that fit quick. Out firing mode. It's a flat is a fireball that explodes that takes up that takes up that takes up all the ammo that takes up 50 ammo. Powerful, but not worth it, I find. And then we have the contact beam. This is the this is this, this reminds me of the uh, Spartan laser from uh, Halo. You charge it up and you let it go. And then the out fire mode is just a shock wave type thing. So the so, so it's kind of like the reverse of the force gun. The force gun has the regular fire mode is a is a large radius but short range, uh, short range pushback weapon. The alternate fire mode is a kind of a blast. And this game, this one's the opposite. The the regular mode is a laser, is a laser that charges up, and the out fire mode is a large radius but low powered attack. You put it into the ground and it blows everything away around you. Kind of useful, but not the use, most useful I find. So uh, for my for my for my point of view, the best three are. Plasma, plasma cutter, pulse rifle, flying gun. Same thing I used in the last game. If you want a fourth one, I'd say the Ripper is more useful in this game than it was in the last one. Some because you fight so many Necromorphs at some point that you can just sit and stand one spot and just carve them up like crazy. Still don't find it as useful as the other guns. I'd rather just keep keep it. Keep the other guns like they are. So anyway, that's the Dead Space 2 weapon special. It's weapon and suit special, I can say. So I'll uh, see you next time on Let's Play Dead Space 2 when we continue on the story. Bye!